does a skeleton say before eating? Bon appetit. This is Anderson Penn's podcast, episode 411 for Wednesday, October 27, 2021. This is Eric. This is Lisa. Lisa, how are Welcome you? Welcome back. Welcome back. She's so, back. Where's Brian? <laughs> Brian is in Chicago. So you're taking um, Brian's place? Just one episode. So um, you brought a joke. <laughs> the joke is I was gone less than 12 hours and Brian broke a tooth. <laughs> what is that a joke? He's in no pain. Yeah, he's we should in no pain. hasten to add that he is in no yes, pain. Yes, he's in no pain. And he broke a crown. He right? broke a crown. A crown. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, so he'll I'm get that home. fixed as soon as he gets back. The the arrangement we have is I'm in Chicago by myself for 6 weeks and I get 2 3 4 days off and I came home last night about 5:30. And about 9.30, Brian says, well, I didn't want to tell you, but um, I broke a crown. I wasn't even gone 12 hours. I, I can't leave the man alone for a minute, and he gets hurt. Um, but the, you're used to that. Oh, my God. I'm a mom. These things but happen. You're used to that. So. so you brought the joke. I'm home. That's the joke. That's the joke. No, I've got one. I've got one. Let's All see. Right. Uh, oh, happy Halloween. You as well. Whoa, who's my friend here? What is this? We're just going to have a podcast and act like he's not here. Yeah. Do you know why fashionable ghosts shop <laughs> at Anderson Penn Chicago? No. Because AP Chicago is a boutique. <laughs> That's good. But speaking of Chicago. Yes. Tell us all about it. I hear from Brian. Yes. But uh, we want a, a reporter on the ground, on the scene. Okay. Um, the store is open seven days a week. Uh, I think the biggest problem people have is they think it's on the outside, but we're inside the Palmer House Hilton. So you have to come inside. Um, and it has really been good to see some of our regular customers back again. It has been good to see some of the um, events coming back. Not many, but there have been a few. You mean meetings? like Meetings and conferences, yep. Yeah. We had the orthopedics board exams. Those, uh, some of those doctors were pretty funny. A um, couple other groups, and uh, the store um, looks pretty full. Um, you know, it's it's not easy to just outfit a store in a couple weeks. No, but so, I've seen the pictures. Yeah, it's, so we've we've had you've um, got stuff there. Good deliveries from most of our vendors, and and uh, so it's it's pretty good. Um, I moved some interesting things down there. I sell a lot of Lammy, and a lot of Pilot. Um, the Acroballs, and a couple of the lower end pens. They're just great. Is this people from the hotel stuff? People from the hotel. Um, we do have a few of our Palmer, uh, our Retro 51 Palmer rollerballs left. And uh, the general manager of the hotel actually loved them so much he came down and bought a bunch. And I think he wants like 100. As he should. As <laughs> so he should. that's very exciting. Very representative and gorgeous. Um, but his, his point was if somebody's going to spend $50,000 on a wedding, they get like a bottle of champagne and a pen or something. And a pen. Can you, I can't imagine spending that kind of money on a wedding. Neither can I. That's crazy. That's not what I spend on mine. No. So, anyway. So, Chicago is there. Chicago is there. And, we are open seven days a week. Um, it's actually nice to be back. The city is slowly coming back. Um, a couple of the other stores are not yet open, including Starbucks, so you don't need to come back because be Starbucks yeah. is not there. Um, but my favorite sushi place is still open. Um, our favorite pizza place right behind the apartment just reopened. Um, and uh, enough things are open and, and moving and thriving that it feels, um, it, it doesn't feel like a war zone or like... Um, like a zombie apocalypse, like no, it, it did is for a the while. city once again. It is. Plus, you've got the art institute. We went on Sunday. Did you? That was nice. Our our plan these days is to pick a hallway we've never gone to. Before. And there are plenty. Yes, there are plenty. We we randomly found a couple strange yep. places that were really cool. We've never been there, so we're trying to have fun. There Good. you go. Good. Excellent. Yeah. And so you're here until I am here January. No, I, <laughs> I wish it was six weeks on, six weeks off. No, it's you six weeks on. That. You could arrange that. Oh, he's going to, no. <laughs> no. Um, no, I'm here until Thursday. Until Thursday. Yes. So tomorrow you leave. Yes. Okay. And then I'll be back for Thanksgiving for like 36 hours. Uh, I have a seat at the table, right? Yes, okay. you do. And um, then I'll be home second week of December. For three days. For three days. Mm -hmm. 
And everybody's going down for Christmas. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that'll be fun. We did that a couple years ago. And for me, it's amazing because I don't have to decorate. <laughs> I don't have to do anything. Um, well, the hotel has this giant, what, 30-foot tree? Uh, it's huge. And it's gorgeously decorated. Um, Christmas trees in the hallway outside the store, everywhere in the hotel. And so we just get the kids a room. And um, then we all just go up to the executive lounge and open gifts up there. It was really awesome. And I so have, you're going to do that again now. Yes. I have minimal work to do, which okay. is really Christmas in a Chicago nice Chicago is nice. Yeah. Nice stores. A little bit of snow, maybe. The, uh, the Chris Kinmart is coming back this year. Yeah, it should be. Yeah. So I think we're going to do that. You've heard it for sure. Yes. Oh, okay. Um, when, we, when the kids came down with Brian two years ago, uh, we discovered that the Willis Tower is open on Christmas Day. And there's go. nobody, nobody there. there. It was awesome. We did not pay extra for the Fast Pass which normally is worth the money. There's nobody there. We just whizzed right in. Did you get your own elevator? I think there might have been like one other uh, couple. It was around Christmas time when Robert and I were mm -hmm. there and we got our own elevator. Yeah, it was, it was crazy. amazing. <clears throat> Nobody's there. So that's the time to go. And then I think for New Year's, I'm just going to stay there and Brian's going to stay here. New Year's? I'm just going to Speaking stay of New Year's, yes. Hobonichi. Yes. Those planners for 2022. Yes. I have... Uh, Updated information. Do, okay. We, you, we placed a second order for we round did. two. Yes. And, and not everything every, on the website that says coming soon is actually in that order. Okay. There were a few things they were out of that we had ordered. Well, the order was... Uh, approved. Approved yesterday. Yes. So everything on the website as of now is coming and will probably be here next week. Cause, wow, that's fast. Well, they'll ship on Tuesday and we'll get to Shakako on Monday. Right. I like how that works. Yeah. But then it's going to take three days to get here. But next week sometime. Yes. So now is the time to put in your back in stock notification. Because this will be the last order and what's in the new order? The only thing I'm interested in is my cousin. <laughs> your cousin Vinny? <laughs> my, <laughs> my cousin Vinny. My cousin with the black leather cover. So that's where my back in stock notification is for. The pencil boards. The pencil boards. Pencil boards are they coming. They were talked about. Yep. And we showed pictures, I think, because we, we didn't have them. I wasn't here. Yeah, you know, I was. But, <laughs> but those are coming. I'm excited podcast. about those. Um, but this will be our last order of Hobonichi for 2022. So if you missed out on something, definitely do the back in stock and grab it as soon as you get that notice. Um, some of them are really, really cool. I'm, Most I'm, of them are really, really yeah, cool. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm really excited to start to use mine. And the Cousin A5 size is just mm -hmm. better for me. I can keep it open on the desk. Yep. And... Put, I, I put my to-do list on it each day and okay. take notes on it, and that's what I use it for. Did you use the cousin last time? No, I'm I'm using something else currently. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. I have a plan like what, I, what I don't care for about, if I had a complaint about Hobonichi, is that the ink takes a little moment to dry. And so if it's a book you're going to close immediately after you write, it doesn't work for me. Okay. Uh, but the cousin, I just keep open. Maybe you need a new pen. Uh, well... Sure, always, <laughs> but that won't solve this problem. Okay. Well, maybe that, one with a finer when I say, nib. When I say the ink takes a moment to dry, I mean fountain pen ink. Obviously, right. if you're using a pencil or a ballpoint or a gel pen, right. it's not a problem. Okay. Um, so but I, I tend to use fountain pens. When John and Michael came oh, after the Chicago show, they had we had to show you. the um, Visconti Homo Sapiens, the very, very, very limited edition Ember um, with them. I didn't realize you had seen it. Oh, it's cool. You yeah, know, it looks, I mean, it looks cool, but I've only seen pictures. Yes. Which we will show you right now. It's gorgeous. Um, you know, other companies have done um, pens with carbon fiber. I love that Visconti has this little copper wire kind of woven through it, which is really, really pretty. Yeah, it's a gorgeous pen um, in the pictures. And that should be en route. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Has been ordered and, and uh, should be here soon. Um, very, very limited edition. Uh, as they got into the production, they realized just how complicated it was to work with. So they made three. Oh, they made and we've got two of them. a handful, <laughs> but not that many. Oh, this is too difficult. And this is... Um, Send this to the Anderson's. A one-time thing, yeah. <laughs> Send it to Lisa. Keep Send her quiet. Send it to Lisa. <laughs> um, but it's really gorgeous, and uh, they're... I, I believe it's just a one-shot thing, so... So it'll be very special. Yes, absolutely. What's a pumpkin's favorite sport? 
squash. Oh, well, it's fall, you know, so I wanted to talk about the field notes. We've talked about these fall field notes before. I got the pumpkin. You got the pumpkin. I got an apple. And I just think they're very, well, I think they're called harvest. fall. Harvest fall. Uh, and they're special editions? Yes. Or just fall edition? Uh, this is one of their um, seasonals. Seasonals. And so these are a three-pack. Uh, which ones do you have? I have apples, popcorn, and grapes. But the popcorn is on the ear. Oh, that's funky. All right. I have pick-a-pie pumpkin, rainbow chard, and mountain gold tomato. You have a chard? I have a chard. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting choice. So these are cool. Um, you know, I really like how... Each season, each each special edition is job, very different. Yeah. Um, They're very creative. And they, how and do you think of all this? These, I should say, this paper doesn't have that Tomoe River paper that problem with fountain pens. It doesn't take a minute to dry. Here. No, no, it just it's dry immediately. And these are dot. Yes. With a margin. I I, I like dot. Yeah. More than blank, because I can I can. Make believe there's a line there. I can't do. I prefer lines. I can't do blank, but I, dots. I, blank, I like lines. I can do blank if you put the, uh, uh, a, a card guide card underneath. Yeah. It. But I can't no. draw a Blank, right I'm, all, no, over I'm all over the place. Yeah. All right. What else? It's almost midnight, isn't it? <laughs> it's like two minutes, too. So the new private reserve, two minutes to midnight. Uh, that's an interesting name. I guess they're. Trying for the darkness of I guess, two minutes yeah. to midnight and because so it's, a, it's, it's, it's a very, a very, very, very dark blue, but it's not black. And it's I not always, black. I always it, think of midnight as like pitch black. Is that a very, very dark purple? Yeah, it's it's definitely leaning toward purple. But it's a huge bottle. Oh, it's massive. 110 milliliters. And it's a cool shape. Yep, yeah. and That's, it has a clock on the top. I know that is. That's cute. two minutes to midnight. In case you want to know what time it is. It's twice a, twice a really day. Twice a day, I'll be right. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, what I was struck by is uh, 110 milliliters. Yeah, it's huge. It's huge. This is... Special edition? Well, that would be a very long supply for me. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Very long. I, when's the last time you went through an entire bottle of ink? Start to finish, oh, bought it, start it, finished it. Not long, actually, because I'm only on one ink at the moment. Oh. And... It's from a company that is no longer with us. Okay. So I'm just using it up. Okay. And by no longer with us, I mean they disappeared. Remember Blackstone? Okay. They just, they're gone. Oh, but those are tiny. Yeah, but <laughs> I only have six. They'll go someday. <laughs> someday they'll be gone. And then I'll be looking for something to replace. Barrier Reef is my favorite. Oh, okay. So. I have a, um, I'm driving back to Chicago, bringing a couple big things back. And then Brian is bringing a ton of packing material back. But I am bringing a box of ink. A box of ink? A box of ink. Any particular kind of ink? Parker Penman Sapphire. What? <laughs> Parker Penman em Emerald. What are you going to do with it? I'm going to put it in my pen. Oh, so this is your personal stash. It's my personal that stash. That you cannot live without while you are in Chicago. I never use it. Yeah. I never use it. And, and I'm trying, one of the things I'm going to try and do this year is use the good china. As you should, yeah. So use the ink that you love. There's no point in hoarding it. Eventually, you know, it'll, it'll well, no longer be I there. I suppose and, in, yeah, 30 years will dry out, although it's probably 30 years old already. Shh, don't, shh, don't tell it. Parker but, Penman Sapphire is what everybody wants. I know. Do you have a pen that has it right now? I could put some in if you want to. Yeah, try. I've never written it. Do you want a sample? I'll give you a sample. Well, let me write in a pen with it. Okay. If I'm not going to use it, then don't give it to me. Um, I, I love the Parker Penman Sapphire. But and Parker everybody Penman. did just hear you say you'd give me a sample. <laughs> just you. I'm not giving out <laughs> free samples to the world. I don't have that much. Um, yeah, and I'm bringing a couple of my personal Ackerman bottles down. And we're going to use those for tester ink. Oh, fantastic idea. Yeah, yeah. Well, because right now they're just going to sit in my office here unattended. Well, as long as you're taking the car, take everything. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. You're going to be in Chicago for a while, aren't you? I am going to be there for 18 months to two years. Okay. Take your ink with you. Yeah. That's my rule. If it's over a year, I'll take my ink. My ink, my cashmere robe, and my snow boots. You're probably going to need those. I know. So. I, I don't know if it snows more here or there. I think it snows more here, but I got to tell you, those two and a half blocks between yeah, you, you the store the there, yeah. and the apartment in the wind and the snow in just flats, 
Well, you can't do that. Well, yeah, <laughs> so I had to, my snow boots. We'll be right back after this short word from our sponsor. Who's sponsor? our sponsor? Now let's watch the monitor. They gotta stare at doesn't jump on me. <laughs> you thought it was going to jump. I did. It came out of the bottle. Instead. Yeah, it did. Yeah. 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 It's creepy. So that's the Mont Blanc Spider Ink. Yes. That, uh, Only a few more. We and have it's... just, a, I wouldn't even say a handful. Okay. Unless you're looking for the samples, because we have samples too. Do you remember when we were getting ready to do that and Steph was going to borrow a live spider for that? Um, <laughs> this is ringing a bell. Like, who's got a tarantula yeah. to just loan out? So just out there in Penland, just so you know, we considered using a real tarantula, but no tarantulas were harmed in the filming of this video. <laughs> and that was not a real tarantula. <laughs> no, no. No. Creepy, though. Have any more ink to talk about? Bungu box. I see bungu box right here in front of me. All right. And I like these bottles. You they, know, they also come in these bottles. Yes. So... Bungu Box will um, no longer be distributed by Atoya, um, so it will no longer be brought into the U.S. Um, in bulk. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, and we've known about this for a while, but until Atoya sold down on their stock, there was really no urgency. But some oh, of the I colors... See. Basically, what we have is... Pretty, pretty much. much. They've, they've sold down... Which is interesting, because this is... The, the June These Dried the, Something Blue, which is very popular. Yes. Um, so some of them still come in the older 50 mil packaging, and then some come in the smaller, really adorable packaging. They're very cute. Um, but once they're gone, they will be gone. So if this is something you want, I would grab it now, um, because I know we're already out of several colors, and uh, we, we do not have this in Chicago because it's going out of stock. Right. Right. So the message is buy it. Buy it. If you want it, get it now. Yep. Why do skeletons have low self esteem? They have no body to love. Oh, this is a pilot G2. You know, we we resisted carrying these for a while. These are fantastic. Because they're I mean, not they're... a fountain pen, they're not um, anything high end. Um, these are a great writer. They're great. They take the G2 refill. Um, they have, let me see this. Is it squishy? It's squishy. And you know, some people want that. Some people want. I like it because it's not incredibly squishy. No, it it's, it's not like a squishy. pillow squishy, right, but it's right. it's got a little bit of a comfort grip. Um, absolutely amazing writer. And well, it's a gel. They're twelve fifty. It's a gel and it's very smooth. It, and they come in several colors. Several colors. The red I like. It catches my eye. Right. I have a silver, and this is black, and that's the all black something. Oh like yeah, yours is black. black with. Is that gray or black? That's. Oh, is this? That's gray. Charcoal. Charcoal. There's a black. The, the black There's one a purple. is stealth. You see the clip on that? Yeah. That's, There's a gold. That's why I have this one. Oh. Steph's not getting it back. Oh, does she know that? She does now. <laughs> so there's a purple and a blue. I mean, they're just really pretty colors, but it's a great little writer. And if you're hesitant about leaving a decent writing pen at your office, uh, if you're back in the office, you know, these are a great option. And it really is a smooth... Very smooth. Let me play with that. Yeah, play with that. All right, you're not getting that back. <laughs> I'll take the one of the Mr. Pack and give it to Steph. <laughs> yeah. See, that's very, very smooth. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's similar to the um, Pilot Acro Ball that I have that I love and sell a ton of because I just I like, oh, you should try this. It doesn't take any and pressure then... at all. It's not like a ballpoint. No, no. So, really awesome. Yep, yep. Cool. Plus, I like the red one. These the are the eyes, right? limited edition for this year, Vanishing Point in the Black oh, Ice. It's another clicker, just like the G2. I know. But this has Justin a fountain pen there. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> poor Justin. I'm only here every six weeks. He's going to have to cope. So the Black Ice, 
um, really cool. Um, the, the, the ombre pattern, let's get rid of that. It's in my way. Um, just really pretty. I actually did not see this for very long and then they sold out. Right, I, um, I was surprised to see them come back. You know, the problem is that every year they do this limited run and every year it seems like the U.S. gets fewer and fewer. Which I just don't think I, is I think fair. that is true, though. It's not It's fair. not like it seems. It's, no, it is true. Fair. But I... We need more. How many vanishing points do you have? Vanishing points and or decimos? Because I brought Fine. some here. Because here's a decimo. Are we counting? And that's a champagne. Oh, no, I wasn't. <laughs> yeah, I, I have two. I have a red carbonesque and a mustard. These are... Vanishing I, points are so convenient. I have a few. Uh, a few is what we're going to go with. Huh? I have a, <laughs> a few. A few. Couple but handful. you, I think, prefer a decimo. I like the decimo. I like that it's and that, thinner. That's champagne, right? Yes, it's this is gorgeous, champagne. Gorgeous. I have the burgundy that is burgundy. my personal pen, and the I use that as a test drink. Decimo to is a vanishing point. Yes. But it's just a it's little a tiny, tiny bit, slight, bit uh, thin. thinner. Just yeah. a tiny bit. Um, the vanishing point is fine for me, but I do like a thinner one. There's a completely black you one. You like stealth. All stealth, yeah. You know, I... I was showing this to a customer in Chicago, and he was debating between two of them. And then I mentioned that everybody calls this the stormtrooper, and he just threw his hands up in the air and said, sold, and his girlfriend next to him said, that's all you had to do was say stormtrooper. Apparently he was a big Star Wars fan, and yep. that was it. And so then they were worse. like going back and forth about, why didn't you notice that? You should have noticed that. You why didn't you think that. of that? So. But what if you're... What if you kind of like these vanishing points, but you're not really into fountain pens? I mean, I don't know who that might be, but they do have an option, don't they? They do, they and do. this is not a regular, you're really good at segues. <laughs> you're, um, this is not a regular item. No, this is like when these are gone, they're gone. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. We actually saw these at a show, and I bought right, one. Right, you were the first one to ever show me one of these. Yes. I thought that's in, I'm incredible. I'm mean, yeah. Even for just a novelty. Yeah. Because These they are decimal ballpoints. Ballpoints. So I have one that is my personal pen, and I keep it and I hoard it, I hide it. Um, yeah, it's great. So they're white. I think this is a white one. Yep, and it's kind of a it's shimmery, a pearly type. white. Yeah, it's a very yeah. nice white. And then the light gray. This is white. Yeah. These are both white, but this one has got a silvery. Yeah. Or pearlescent to it. And then and silver. The silver. Silver, but silver color, not. The but silver it's. Pen. Um, Really convenient. You know, what sells the vanishing point for some people is that it's the convenience of a ballpoint with yes, a fountain pen. absolutely. But now you have the convenience of a ballpoint with a ballpoint. Yeah, plus you can you can it take it to like a pen show and surprise people. People think it's a vanishing That's point. Right. So you can borrow a pen and you give them this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that'd be good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can borrow this one. That is exactly what a vanishing point fountain pen is great for. Uh, is the convenience, especially yes. for students, and I've seen a lot. Of, I've seen a lot of chefs use them because they put them in that pocket on their shoulder mm -hmm. or on their arm. And if you're busy, you don't have time to mess around with a cap. No. no. But if you like fountain pens, perfect solution. There and like go. I say, I've got two, I and have, I've had many more in I my have life. Too. Two plus. Two plus. Yes. You have a few. I have a few special ones. Yeah, everyone should have at least one. Yeah. But but there's many to choose from. Yes. If absolutely. I liked Decimo, this would be a difficult one. Difficult the to pass up. Is cool. The navy is cool. The burgundy, the light, the purple, and there's a light blue. Very pretty. So there you go. There you go. All right. What but else? There's also the black eyes. Yes. Limited edition. Yes. Very difficult to come. We by. managed to get a couple more, and so um, we thought we were done, and then got lucky. So if you want one, you missed out. Now's your chance. What do you call a witch's garage? A broom closet. The Visconti Voyager and the um, Demo, Demo Carousel, Carousel are both on the chopping block and they have both been discontinued. And so whatever we have left is all that we have and um, they're on sale. Right, I think they talked about it last week. I just wanted to remind them. Yes, because if somebody sale. doesn't buy that pink blush one soon, it is really flirting with me. <laughs> <laughs> Because you just don't see that color in a pen. No, it's cool. It's sort of a peachy. Yeah. 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 Uh, and then you have news about Colorverse. Yes, Colorverse. That was news to me, so tell everybody. Colorverse um, has announced a price increase as of, uh, was it November? The, November 1st, so 
Yeah. Soon. Monday. Buy, buy quick. Monday. Um, not a huge increase. I'm, I imagine it's not huge. But right? uh, just like everything else, uh, at some point, most things will have a price increase. Um, and so they announced it. Uh, so buy it now before the price goes up on the 1st. Right. And it's going to go up on the 1st. Yes. But not by a huge amount. No. No. It's by leaps and bounds. If you want any of it, <laughs> buy three years supply right now. <laughs> And there's so many to choose from. I know. So many to choose from. A bunch. And they have those cute little bottles. The big bottle, the little bottle. Yeah. They're cool. They're cool. Mommy and baby. Last week on the podcast, neither you nor I were here. No. No. It was Brian and Steph. It was Brian and Steph. And they got to talk about a couple of pens that I thought we should talk about just because I like them. Those are those new Pelicans. You just don't like to feel left out. That's right. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. New Pelicans. I like Pelicans. I like pelicans. I have a couple of pelicans. I have okay. a vintage pelican and I have oh, a I modern you. pelican. Um, and now another pelican is on my radar. It's the the golden barrel. Okay, it's, that's it's the new the, one. The, yeah, and, and it the, is to uh, ins- it's designed to match uh, the to, to coordinate inch. with the golden barrel because ink. it's kind of a demonstrator. It's yes. see through. Mm-hmm. Probably not extremely clear, but you can see through it. Yep. And it's got sparkles. <laughs> it's just got sparkles. <laughs> Who can say no to a pen that has sparkles? Not me often. No. So and then, I'm waiting for that one. Okay, what's the other one? The other one is the, uh, I think it's an M205, which means it's silver trim. It's the petrol. Petrol yes. marble, as yes. they call it. So we're getting that in. Um, we we do have a bunch of Pelican on order, but um, I did have a chance to speak with our sales rep after the Chicago show. And Pelican uh, has gone through some production drama and so the big orders that we've placed will eventually show up, but we're getting, you know, onesie twosies here. So as they come in... Right, so we have no idea when these are coming. No. But they, are, no. they have been ordered. They have been ordered. And I can't wait to see it in real life. So you could put that in your hobby. And, yeah, good, if it gets here in time. <laughs> and they're not <laughs> extraordinarily expensive. They are not. They're piston they are fillers, not. which I enjoy. Uh, a Pelican piston filler I like more than some others because you just you twist the, the nib, nib out and clean it. Yes. I hate to clean piston fillers. Yeah, they're difficult to clean. I'm just lazy clean. about it. You just keep the same ink in them yes. all the time. But a pelican piston, the, the nib comes out, and yep. so it does make cleaning easier. And these are the 200 series, so they're kind of on the small they're side, so you post them. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it also means it comes with steel nib, and the price is very attractive. Yes, absolutely. And so is the pen, in this case, the golden barrel. So you've got several things Don't on your shopping radar. <laughs> Don't I, though? Christmas could be good for you. Could, could be. I've made the list. I've sent it to you via email. <laughs> okay. I don't think that any of those fall within the 10 to $15 we're doing secret that this Santa. Year? I, I've already decided we're doing that up here. We are. Okay. But you have to be included. But we'll send your gift. But you're not coming back for Christmas. Or are you coming back? No, we'll everybody's talk about this coming down camera. there. You can't leave. Uh, my name's on the window. You can't leave me out. You know what? Sometimes <laughs> prior to COVID, we would do like a Christmas yeah. company meeting. Yes, yes. And, no. And mm-hmm. that's when we would do the Christmas Santa and all that. Right. And I don't know if you're planning on doing that this year or not. But we I'll are, just bring it up on camera. There you go. <laughs> we are going to do a secret Santa. Um, I think we already bought somebody's gift. Oh, so we <laughs> have to. <laughs> <laughs> it's not you this time, Justin. I don't remember what we have. I have it stored away somewhere. But, um, yeah, we had a good time. I had fun shopping for yours that year. Uh, yeah, as you should. <laughs> it's on the couch. Excellent. Now people will wonder, what is it? Yeah. We'll tell you next time. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, anything else? No, that's all I have. What is it like to be kissed by a vampire? It's a pain in the neck. So thanks for joining us. Join us next week. I'm just going to read this. For more talk about pens, ink, and paper. Follow the blog for news, ink reviews, and uh, all sorts of updates on Chicago events. There will be a couple coming up. Speaking of events in Chicago, it's far (laughs) into the future, but it's on the calendar. It's Kenro. It's Kenro. It's Carrie. Carrie, Who is bringing... Esterbrook. Esterbrook. you got ink on my finger. Montegrappa. Montegrappa. Aurora. Yes. Auto Hut. Auto Hut. Oh, my God. Okay, we're going to talk about auto hut. Oh my god, these are so pretty. I never see. They talked about them last week, <laughs> oh. but they didn't have them. Oh, and they're Steph had they're never seen them. They're freaking gorgeous. Yeah, you they have are them in the so store, blingy. right? Yeah. Um, and they're selling. 
Yeah. Yeah, we, we saw them for the first time. You know, we get emails from our vendors saying, you know, we're carrying this line and that line. And um, we were, I guess, just two heads down getting ready for Chicago to open to really pay too much attention. And uh, Carrie brought them um, for the event in Chicago. And I fell in love. These are, these are not shy pens. And that's these are unusual for you to simply immediately fall in love with pens. I mean, you like pens. Uh, yeah, but for I you don't, to say I this, these, these must these be something pretty. special. Yeah. The, um, there is a, a black with a rose gold cap, and we're, we're doing the rollers and the ball points. And it's really pretty. It's got a nice weight. Um, then there are the wave. And these are engraved and lacquered. And it looks kind of like a wave. And um, there's motions. a black with rose gold and a white with rose gold that are gorgeous, but they just sparkle. And then the platinum, oh my God. There's a black with platinum and a bright blue. Be still my heart. Don't you own one yet? Not yet. <laughs> well, I keep selling them. I can't, I can't yeah, take can't one them, because yeah. if somebody <laughs> says, I love it. If but something lasts long enough, then you can keep it. I but... have my eye on the bright blue with the platinum trim. And we do have them on the website. Yes. They are gore in person. I have not seen them yet. They in are amazing. I should have brought some, but we sell them in Chicago. Next time. But Next they're time. they're just so sparkly and under the light. Did it's she say sparkly? Sparkly. <laughs> they're really really pretty. Um, so give those a look. I didn't know anything about Auto Hut, but apparently they have been in business for centuries. Quite a long time, and they have quietly they... made um, pens for a lot of other companies. So uh, that I did not know. Yes. But yeah, I did know that they've been they've been around for a long time. They're I don't really, have the year really off pretty. the top of my head. But speaking of Auto Hut, that's why we're saying December 9th. Yes, Carrie will be there. Carrie will be there and he'll bring all these pens in addition to the ones you have. Yes. There. Yes. But he always brings interesting things. And then he'll he does. he'll sneak in a rocky top yes. that you're not supposed to have anymore. Yes. Those are sold we by the way. Those. Okay. We got those. Um the Nouveau Blue that just came out is really pretty. We got to see that. And um, now we have it. So it's always a good time. And Carrie's awesome. He is awesome. Mr. Fountain Pen Fountain Day. Fountain Pen Day, yeah, which is coming which is up. Which is coming up. I know. I'm excited. Which, in case you didn't know, is always the first Friday of November. So it's the 6th or the 5th. Soon. It's the 5th. <laughs> Doing it in my head. <laughs> you know, I do the same thing every day. I don't even know what day it is half the time. So. It's the first Friday. It's a week from this coming Friday. How's that Okay, sound? there you go. Friday. All right. So, the store in Chicago. Yes. Seven days a week. And yes. you're there. I am right there, now. except... Yeah. So, somebody walked in yesterday and said, and Oh, Lisa? doesn't Lisa work here anymore? <laughs> like, I'm gone one day. One day. <laughs> one afternoon. <laughs> and, and do you have a website? Brian, I think, said that he fired me. <laughs> <laughs> At least for a minute, that would be yes. funny. Yes. yes. What's that? Uh, yes, it is uh, chicago.andersonpens.com. Oh. Almost like AndersonPens.com, but with Chicago. you in the front. There you go. So, what do you want them to do with this video? Just watch it. Like it. <laughs> like it and subscribe to our channel, please. And I don't know who will be here next week, but someone will. So, we'll see you then. <laughs> Bye. Bye. What is in a ghost's nose? Boogers. Boogers.